Hi there, welcome back. And here's Pom Pom and her two little boys. They're five weeks old tomorrow night. That's blue. Well, I should say this on top here, this is Roman. This is Roman. And this is blue. Blue's got the blue color. Focus here. There we go. <laughs> I'm not sure why it's not focusing on that. Girl, You're such a good girl. You're a good mama. Spike, that's enough.
Hi there, Lisa. Um, this is Pom Pom's first letter. Yeah, to answer your question. She in Paris, um, they both turned two um, a couple months ago. And sorry, it's a couple months before we made them. Um, we like them. Um, Two being significant because we don't like to breed any of, we don't want any of our moms to be younger than two. Even two is a little young, we prefer two and a half to be, like if we're being real picky. Since they're awake, I'm gonna put this down on like eye level. Now they're old enough that they're old enough that now that they are awake for periods of time, which is awesome.
Christ. Thanks, Lisa. I think she's a, I think she's a really good mom too. I think she takes the cake compared to our other moms. Remy. Any day now, the sea will be out of heat and the craziness between our stud dogs will cease. Or at least it will, you know, reduce. During heat cycles when we're mating them, it's never nearly as big a deal because when our stud dog, when he is able to like lay claim to her when she's in heat, once he's done that once, he's, he's fine. But it's when she goes into heat and we're not mating her that he goes nuts the entire week because we're like not letting him get to her. And today he's really busy. He's just at the very, very end. So he's getting like really like tough. So we're looking forward to her being finished with heat. I think it's interesting how with Missy's litter and with Robin, the daisies, with pom-poms, whenever we have the camera up like this, they somehow always manage the mom out of the entire pen. They always manage to sit down right in front of the camera lens. It is, it is hard not to get too attached, especially with these two little guys. We only have two. We get to know them really well, and it's it's going to be really hard to let them go. It's they're going to be our hardest, I think, that we let go. <laughs> yeah, they are. We were, we were talking about that yesterday. 
they're almost, it's almost like twins because they have such opposing personalities. Like they're very much the same, but they're also a lot a lot or they're a lot different. I'm gonna be sad to see them separate. Somebody mentioned that. I think it might have been you. Somebody said um, that they hoped that they would go home together. They were going to two separate families. But I mean, they'll be okay. Roman says that's enough. Hold on, hold on, just a second.
Ich muss mal See the puppies. Oh, I can't see the babies. Oh, um, I'm sorry, I was in another tab. We are in Illinois. We're in Illinois, but we have our puppies are our puppies are all over the country, to be honest. Um, Rowan is going to New Jersey, actually. I think he'll be our furthest one. Or not, we've got Heather in Canada. I don't know, I'm not quite sure what you want. You should move a little more. You know, like you can have your snuggles. You have your snuggles. It is very cold here. I just put pom pom on side and she just like turned, she ran outside and then did a UE and came right back in. She uses the trays, so she likes to pee inside when it's cold. You have been minus 10? Holy smokes, where are you from? If you don't mind me asking. Yeah. Like what region? Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, because you and me are both in England. Okay. That's right. All right, because I think we have another Lisa on here. He's wondering why she has that on her plan. She's our in house, like, social queen, the social butterfly. An hour outside Edinburgh. I would just love to see what I love to see what it looks like there right now. Remy, Remy, pom pom. No, I'm sorry, Remy, you're being a good girl. I think Mama's getting too upset. Mama's getting too upset.
Are you all ready for Christmas, Lisa? Do you do things with your dog? Like, do you get him a stocking or anything? We are not ready for Christmas. Aww. Oh, she's a border terrier. I was I, there was a border terrier that I I mean border terrier that I loved. Her name was Asa. And um she wasn't mine. She we did fly ball, we did competitive fly ball racing with our dogs. Wait, hold on. Uh, and we, there was a little border terrier on the team that I always got to, to run in the races. So border terriers are awesome. Oh no, I'm, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh, was it, if you don't mind sharing, was it COVID related? I really hope not. Yeah, that's true. That's a, that's a good attitude to have. I'm generally an anxious person, so usually I have Drew telling me to that things are outside my control. Dog, you hear barking. That spike is trying to get to Missy. Bella, the commotion you may have heard earlier. Um, Bella tried walking into the kitchen, and um, Spike got past her and to Missy, and so we're trying to get them out of the same room, which we did. You know, I've heard a lot of, um, I have heard of several people mention um, family members getting sick with like very COVID-like symptoms at the very beginning and doctors just like saying, calling it pneumonia, calling it the flu because COVID hadn't really hit hard yet. <clears throat> and so like in hindsight, now people are looking back and thinking, that that uptick in you know quote unquote flu and pneumonia diagnoses may have actually been COVID. And so you may be onto something with that. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, January 2020. That was like when we were starting to first hear about it. And then February is when it started getting like super concerning over here anyway. And then March was when, it's like March 15th, I think. We usually um, skip a cycle. Uh, and then it really depends on the dog. So, um, kind of like what a lifetime, like when we get a puppy at eight weeks, depending, assuming that, you know, all else being equal, that they are healthy, that um, their tests come back good, their genetic tests that we do, uh, 
<clears throat> assuming that all that is good. Um, we get them at about eight weeks, we raise them. They'll have a couple of heat cycles in the beginning that we skip because we don't want them. It's like getting a teenager pregnant, you know. Um, we want them to be adults. And so we skip, it's usually two, sometimes three cycles. Um, actually, maybe it's more often three um, <clears throat> by the time they hit that age. And so then, um, uh, then we'll do the first litter and we'll have the first litter and then um, they'll have, some of them will have another litter on their next cycle and then they'll get their next two cycles off, if that makes sense. So like they get two cycles off or like their first few cycles don't count. Um, some will have one cycle on, some will have two cycle on, it really depends. And then they have two cycles off or one cycle off, depending on if they had two cycles on or two cycle or one cycle on. And then after that first period, then they um, go, they would have, so let's see, let's take Missy for, for example, she had her two back-to-back -back litters and then she had a cycle off and then she had her litter last summer. Now she's having her cycle off and then, um, her next cycle, we'll kind of evaluate, see how she is, and then we might breed or we might not. And so it's really like case by case basis, but it could go like a couple different ways. Um, like our dogs that have um, like our petite, um, our petite dogs that probably we wouldn't want to breed as much. We won't breed back to back like that. Um, like Robin um, or Paris, they have really, they're, um, they have, um, they have bodies that are better suited for breeding. And so, um, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find my words. Uh, that initial, um, the first and second litter, if we do that second litter, um, back to back, our vet recommends it because he says, because we're, there's some thing about hormones and the length of their cycles. And so, um, I don't want to butcher it. I can ask him for the explanation again, but, um, so it, it really, it kind of depends on the dog. It depends on, um, It depends on um, like how they handle pregnancy, how they handle delivery. Um, I'm trying to think of like Missy had really easygoing deliveries, so so that's why we chose to our vet said it was okay to breed her, um, have her second litter um, back to back with her first one. You know, as long as then we gave her two. Lit um, let me be very clear as long as we then give two cycles off. <clears throat> we, we would not do two cycles on and then one cycle off. That'd be way too much. It's more of like kind of rearranging which order they go in a little bit. Um, but then at the end of that, so then we'll we'll kind of follow that pattern um, until they're about five. So they don't have more than about five-ish litters, maybe not even, it really depends. Two, three, four, five, so four or five litters. They would have five litters if they had the back-to-back on their first and second. If they don't have the back-to-back -back on the first and second, then it's usually about four litters for mom before we'll spay them. Good morning, Lori. Oh yes, we have a lot of family time together.
Yes, we have lots and lots of time together. We probably have too much time together. Oh, and for a little bit of context, um, just in case, <clears throat> just for some clarity, uh, their gestation is eight weeks, and their their like whole estrus cycle is about six months. But so when they have a litter, kind of like when um, when people get pregnant, they have a nine month pregnancy. When they have a litter, they'll have that eight weeks of gestation, and then that. Um, that nursing of four weeks usually sets them behind by like a month as far as if we were like schedule their cycles. But um, usually then they'll go into heat. Their next heat cycle would be um, about six months following that. Six months following when they stop nursing their puppies. And so that's why we've been um, kind of on alert with Missy because her puppies were born June 8th, or I'm sorry, June 9th. And so they stopped nursing by like July. And so with December approaching, we noticed that she was starting to go into heat a little bit early. And so we pulled her away from the boys early. And so we've had her like kind of tucked away in our bedroom, hidden away for them, from them for like a month now because we didn't want to, you know, we didn't want to have her with them and go into heat like before we realized it, you know. Always earlier than, you know, always better safe than sorry. And Missy really, she deserves a good break. She had her puppies here for like 12 weeks. So yes, everyone, everyone else is in bed. I, actually, Drew is, um, Drew and Bella are snuggling in bed with Missy and Daisy. And I'm hanging out here with you guys. We were um, snuggling Missy last night as we were getting ready for bed. And um, as we've had people ask if we adopt out our retired dogs. And I mean, we haven't been doing it long enough to have our dogs reach the point of being like well into retirement. Um, the first one we'll be looking at is Missy, who might have, we might have another litter. Um, and then call her good. I mean, she's only four, but um, she said three litters. Um, so I guess maybe she might have two more litters, but um, she, we're snuggling her, and when they're not being moms, they are very, like, they're still pets. Like, they kind of almost just, they moonlight as moms. They are really just our pets. Like a lot of times when Pom Pom is whining here at me and I was just picking her up and holding her and then I put her down and she just wants to be held. She doesn't need to go outside. She just wants to, there's such people dogs, like Cavaliers. And even when, even when they have puppies, they still just want to be with people. What we should do is we should bring Pom Pom and her puppies into our bed and I bet she would be absolutely in heaven there. <laughs> It will be busy. It will be busy when Paris's litter gets here. It's been so quiet with these guys that Paris is going to have a big litter. And um, uh, but we're going to go from this like quiet, calm 
to having a big litter with a puppy that with potentially a runt because the litter is big. So we'll have so I'll have that extra busyness. It's a good busy though. I don't know if it'll ever get old. Oh, and I don't know. I've shown this picture a few times, so you can just let me know if you've seen it. But um, speaking of runs, this was our little runt from Missy actually last summer. And we brought this little girl back. We thought she was going to, we didn't think she was going to make it. And now she's six months old and she's doing so well. And she looks just like Missy. So I have to show you. Look at her. She's looking crazy. Jenny. So she's six months old. She was born itty bitty teeny tiny. She was like, she was our latest surviving puppy that we've had. And we were syringe feeding her every 90 minutes around the clock for about a week and a half. And we were almost close to giving up. The only thing that like encouraged us to because sometimes we'll just start doing like a supportive care cert type of regimen kind of like a hospice our own version of hospice um but what the reason we didn't was because she had such a strong um kind of like mr orange in the fall we didn't make it but she had such a strong will and she was still had a lot of feistiness she was weak but she still had a lot of feistiness and some hot feistiness means to pull her through Um, no, it's really, it's not that uncommon, especially in a smaller um, breed. Um, when they were born, she had three. And so the litter size was really three. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the one didn't make it. She was really, really small. She was really healthy, though. It was kind of bizarre. So I don't know what was going on with that. But um, so it's not... It's not, I wouldn't call it uncommon. I would say it's less common. Um, it's common enough that um, we, we've we kind of been doing some reading up and learning about um, the singleton litters because those can, if, like, say, when Pom Pom had these puppies, um, that, that little girl runt that we had, she passes away. And then let's say, one of the something happened to one of these boys and then they so there was only one left um there's a lot of developmental um progress that is made and achieved through having those litter mates that they interact with that they um are crawling around and through they have um you know it's kind of like with the whole um every action has an equal and opposite reaction when they're just laying there and they're by themselves, they're dogs, they're pack animals, they live in packs and they're not learning when they're just by themselves as a lone puppy, they're not learning how to live in a pack. And, uh, and so that's why it's really important for them to have even just one litter mate so that they can learn how to live the way that their, their instincts are telling them to. And so, um, uh, what, what's recommended if you have a litter that only has one is finding a breeder that has a litter that is somewhat close in age um, that you could put your puppy with and just um, kind of uh, surrogate that puppy over with that other litter so that they can get all of the developmental benefits of having their the other puppies to crawl around and play with and but it's been linked to like aggressive behavior and poor bonding, um, poor emotional attachment. 
um, and in these puppies that grow into an adults, um, as adults, those are some of the behaviors that, that they've seen. And so it's one of the reasons that breeders, we try to network and try to know who's nearby. You never know if you're going to need milk, like things that you just can't get um, milk, or if you're going to, if you're going to need a mom or if you're going to need a puppy. Um, because things like that, they happen. And the only thing that can help is if you have, is if you have some resources like that. <clears throat> I make it home quickly. Um, you mean like the puppies? The puppies usually, when, so when our puppies are born, um, we just like put up a, on our website, we just put up, we have like a, an upcoming litters and available puppies page. And so we put up the information on there and usually um, just inquiries through there, the puppies, um, the puppies are homed quickly. Um, I, these, both these boys, I think they had families, we had a family within a couple of days in Rome. And I think within about a week, the girls usually go really fast. And so, um, because that's why we kind of, we have a bit of a process that we try to, without being too, without being too inconvenient, we do try to screen our families a little bit um, because we want to feel comfortable and know that our puppies are are going to good homes and um, and that the family is is committed to them and so we just we usually like to um, chat with our families a little bit and get to know them but I don't think we've found a family that we were like, oh no, we don't want our puppy, puppy to go with you. And to be honest, if anything, I think, you know, with, when you consider like retail markets, um, You know, customer service, a job in general is really awful. But when we have puppies and we're looking for families, the families that come to us are, it's nothing like a customer service job. The families are all, they're always really wonderful and really nice. And um, we don't ever really have, um, like the whole home finding process is usually very, for being as um, as difficult and overwhelming as it can be, it's a really pretty smooth process. The families really help that along by being just generally awesome. I kind of I have a theory that it's the Cavaliers kind of just draw good people, and so that's my theory. The Cavaliers draw good people. Sorry if some of my answers were delayed. I was clicking around in other tabs and so I didn't see some of them right away.
every time I publish our website, it, pop, it will pop up hits that tells me to hire a professional. I was like, what are you trying to say? Oh, and Lisa, I don't know if you were on one of the times I was talking about it, but we are going to um, live stream Paris's delivery if you're interested. Some people are not interested, totally understand if that's not your forte. Um, but for those who are, um, I just wanted to let you know, her due date is um, the 30th. It's not, it's not graphic. We're able to do it in a way that um, we kind of have like the camera mounted like this and so usually as they deliver it's not anything graphic um <clears throat> but she's due the 30th and usually find that they're pretty close to their due dates i think the furthest they've been off is by two days we had one dog that was two days late Uh, good morning, soft cookie. It's too bad they're not all still playing. They were up playing a little bit earlier. Who will have puppies after Paris? Um, let's see, so. Mama takes a break, Faze takes a break. This is on the break. Couldn't do the math in my head, it might be Remy. Remy might be. I have to double check with Drew, but Remy might be. I'm gonna have to double check because it kind of depends where her cycles are falling. Oh, the the snuffle mat. Yeah, the snuffle mat. That thing's awesome. I love it. Pull that out again today. I think it was a good idea to put it in there when I put in when I brought aunts and uncles and dad by, um, because it kind of gave them something to do when the puppies were were like pulling on their tails and ears and stuff. You know, we still like to reward our other dogs for behaving well because they put up with so much of the puppies. Yeah, that's blue. <laughs> so I'm gonna move the camera. I'm gonna move the camera back to where it was instead of slipping again.
matrimonio. Oh my god, I'm gonna let me get up and play it again. I'll move the camera back. Last year we didn't have puppies over Christmas. We didn't have a lot of puppies over Christmas, and so I'm really excited to have puppies over Christmas. Got these really awesome water bottles for the puppies so that we don't have to put in a bowl like a dish of water because that really worries me having just like standing water in here with the puppies even when they're bigger um, just because i don't know if you've seen them i call it turtling when they go on their backs and they can't roll over just because they're so chubby um and so i'm really paranoid about having a water dish filled with water. And so that's why you'll see me put in ice cubes for the puppies, um, or part of why. Um, but so we got these water bottles for the puppies, I'll show you. And so it goes on the outside end. Um, but it's not like the, it's not like the rabbit bottles. It's not, the water won't just pop out if you push the ball up because there's like a, an actual pressure pump in there. My husband could explain it better. And so they have to like push that in and a little tube will fill up with water and then they only get that amount and then they have to do it again. And so it keeps them from drinking too fast. But I'm gonna put it in here and see if the compound will use it so that I don't have to keep putting standing water in, in her dish. He does look so peaceful. He's such a happy puppy when he's with his mama.
Can you figure out the water bottle, Pom Pom? Maybe your puppies will have to show you. There you go. I'm so glad we opened up the pen to make it bigger. I'm quite ready to move over into the, the pen by the front door, but honestly, it's it's right by the front door, and it's going to be the dead of winter in the Midwest. So it just it gets cold over there, and so I think we're kind of like since we can open this pen up quite a bit, we're kind of slow to move them over by the cold front door. Oh, Pom Pom would love for you guys to pet her. <laughs> she would love for all the pets. Pom Pom really epitomizes like the people dog part of Cavaliers because she is very sweet. Oh, Just always wants to snuggle. Yeah, I was kind of thinking that too. It's a good point. I don't have, there's not four other bodies. We don't need a bigger potty tray. Because this is a smaller potty tray. Not so loud, sweetie. Bella, Bella, not so loud. Um, the reason we usually move them over to that other part is because it's kind of, it's more, it's crazy, it's a little crazier um, in the sense that they're more exposed to like the everyday chaos, but um, I don't think it will, I don't think it would exactly hurt them to keep them over here as opposed to moving them.
Roman was really learning um, and liking the tug rope. It's going to be a big, uh, big tug, tug puppy. I'm doing some snuggle for a bit.
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. 
Come back here.
Oh, hey, Cookie, I'm just now seeing your your next message you sent. Snort really loud. And none of our dogs are big snores. I mean, some of the times we'll hear them, you know, how, just how you do and you laugh at them. But none of them have been like, have, have snored what I'm picturing yours to be snoring. <laughs>
Hey. Hush. Remy. This is Remy Dog, just in case anybody's wondering. That's Remy. Somebody asked earlier who would be next in line to be having puppies after Paris. And after doing the math in my head, I realized it would probably be Remy. Remy would be having her first litter because we have Missy on her break right now, Robin and Daisy. They're on their break. And Pom Pom's got her puppies right now. I can't think of any other girls. Robin, Daisy, Remy. I think I covered them. I'm making some edits to the, the field trip that we took yesterday with the puppies out to the living room. We brought Paris out. It was a lot of fun. Um, it's like it's a 40 minute video and um, I'm making some edits to, it to try to clean it up a little bit. I chop off the beginning where there's a lot of nothing happening. Um, and then I'm going to post it so that if you missed it, you can go back and watch it. Paris came out to play and she had a lot of fun with the puppies. Come here, Remy. I think Pom Pom's had enough. Come here. And I wanted to point out, I don't know if you can really tell, but Remy, her markings are almost identical to Paris's. Come here. Oh, no. Go with your puppy. Come here. Come here. Wash your babies. You're a good girl.
I'm such a good girl, pom pom. Bella, we might be getting more here soon. And you know what? I'm going to be stopping at the store to pick up this couple of things. Okay.
hands up now. Bella, you know we have more of those um, muffins.
Did you want to know the second figure? Sorry about that. That was probably really loud for you.
Morning, Roseanne. Oh, Roseanne, I just posted. I just posted um, the video from yesterday when we brought Paris and the puppies together in the living room. Um, I can't remember if you um, were able to join us. So, if you wanted to go back and see it. Um, it was a lot of fun. You can see pregnant Paris. She's getting huge. Um, and she had a lot of fun with the puppies and Pom Pom was, um, really good. And it was, just a, it was a really good little field trip out to the living room with everybody. And so we answered some questions and 
Um, but I just posted it if you wanted to take a look. I hope your morning is going well too. Happy yeah. Saturday to you. They are growing like kids.
is it?
I have not seen so, it. What time is there? Um, so you know the pen is big enough now that if you ever want to jump in and play with them, you can. Okay. Just like let me know beforehand so that I know. I double check everything and help you. Oh, I need to wrap some Christmas presents. That's so cool. Oh, Roseanne, thank you for the comment. That's a really nice, that's a really nice thing to say. I'm gonna have to read that to Drew. Oh, here he comes. Um, I just wanted to read Roseanne's comment to you. Said, I am so impressed with how you all are raising these beautiful for babies. Awesome job to you and your whole family. Absolutely. Oh, thank you so much, Roseanne. I didn't, I didn't remember seeing her um, during the, the field trip we took, so I totally I uh, just it's made some edits and posted it. Oh. Like a real one? That video also provided a lot of really good uh, photos for me to take like screen grabs of. <laughs> like I have a nice picture of you with Tom Tom and her puppies in your lap. <laughs> I don't know if I could
children's toys. These are gonna, they're gonna break my life. These were a Christmas toy last year. They are not getting them for Christmas this year. In fact, this one's gonna hit the the blue filing bin, as we call it. In other words, this recycling bin. Hey.
Do you like this one or is it too pink? It's supposed to be starting over. Oh, I like that. Okay, so the color, if, it, the, if it's part of the, because starting oak and starting oak is pink, so it's okay if it's pink. Like, yeah, as long as it's not like if it's part of the childish. Like, got it. Okay. Like, uh, I think you probably seen those ones that are like. Yeah. Yeah. The ones we get the ball. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just get those. <laughs> Roman is. <laughs> Roman is hungry. I posted the. Videos. It's oh, I want to watch it. It's it's forty minutes. It's not long. Okay. Um, I probably won't be able to watch the entire thing, so I've got to get it. Mm -hmm. okay. Well, you can skip around to the parts where just Paris is in. But uh, she's she was so good. She was so good, mm -hmm. and she in fact was. So, if they weren't in here, they come barely, barely in. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> with her paws, she get her paws, just like run. Yeah, she looks so happy. And then, she realizes, like, Pom Pom was a little bit kosher with her looking at puppies. And the Roman fell in love with her. He loves her ears. Oh, oh. my thoughts were... And Roman yeah. was trying to nurse on her, and she, I'm like, you know, like the see everybody like this gets mad. She was just kind of like, "What are you doing?" And then she thought he was playing, so she just started playing with him. But like, she didn't get mad at him. She was just, like, oh. she was such a good girl. Maybe her mom needs cancer, so he can come in. And then thinking that that's kind of what's going on. Like, she's gonna I'm not sure for her, but. but babies. Yeah, I think that her hormones are. Her belly is so big, I'm feeling really good today, but yeah, I don't think she may have to eat. Mm -hmm. But she and Roman, at one point, Roman starts wrestling with dad, and he's like, he's purring and doing all that. Catches Paris's attention, so she goes over and she's Paris. She takes over and starts wrestling him. Uh, thank you. Just give me one second. Are you leaving? Yeah. yeah drive safely. Where's he going? He's got a lot of dance. No, baby, you stay here with mommy, okay? Sweetie, you stay here with me, okay? I know. Say who mom stinks. She's so sweet. I love her. She's so pretty. She's so pretty, too. She's so pretty. And then dad, like, she, she thought he was going to kill Sarah. Oh, Dad is not actually He thinks there's one time 
ಹೇಳ್ತೀನಿ Just you can send it to me. Oh, okay. It's easier. So basically, they took the all the they got all the they got the um they took the um uh, and put a Christmas hat on it. Oh, I saw that one. So you can put a regular one or just a Christmas one. One out. Move outside. Oh, good boy, Roman. Good boy. Whoa, Papa, what are you doing? Good boy, Roman. You got out. <laughs> Stop. Oh, 
Roman. Come here. Come here, Roman. Come here, Roman. Oh, this is fine. So <laughs> oh, hi, buddy. <laughs> Pom Pom, your puppy wants to play with you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'll put your put your puppy down.
Hi, Papa. What's up, Pom Pom? Hmm?
Harris's food and commit yours. Pump pump, you have to do it yourself. Long to close.
Wolf tamers. Oh, 
Amen. I left it, as you can see, I tried to leave it a little chunkier, see if maybe that they would, like maybe I was pureeing it too much and they would, like if they had, because their teeth are all in now. And so I was thinking, maybe if they had bigger bites. Doesn't look like either of them are interested in eating them. To be fair, I did just wake them up. I would love to. Oh, I don't like that puppy mask. I know, I tried to change it so that the puppy could not eat it. Hold on, I got the puppy dog barking. for your milk and we're not going to waste it. Alright. Oh, yes, you certainly did. You picked up the living room floor specifically. You picked up everything off the living room floor. I think what the elves meant to clean up for Christmas is I think they meant clean off the surfaces, like all the surfaces of the floor. And the tables and the couch. It didn't mean like this. Didn't mean like take it, get off the floor, and put it on the couch and lay on the tables. <laughs> oh my god, I have to show this. Like I can't even see the tables. <laughs> she took it so literally. <laughs> Christmas presents. I don't know if I 
But you're not going to adopt them as your own babies. They are still pom pom babies. Yeah. They've gotten big, haven't they? No, we're not doing this right now either because I, want to, I wanted to wrap some presents to put under the tree, sweetie pie. And if you're playing with slime or painting, um, I can't wrap presents because I need to be with you. So that's why. But can I help you write wrap presents? Oh, you can't see your presents? Can I wrap it? Back here. Oh, you're gonna be daddy's mom. Ah. Bella wants to do anything and only things that are messy, sticky, or pinky. All right, I saw uh, I had to drive by because there was a, a was it yes, van or whatever in the middle of the driveway. Yeah, they were um, at the sign of your mom's discovery. Yeah, that's why um, we got the naked pictures. Yeah. Oh, oh. and that would be um, You're not going to just hang out in Pom Pom's pen. That's not how this works. Come on. You can't just stand guard up for puppies. She wants to come back. Come on. Come on. Come on, Robin. You're a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful mama. You take good care of all the puppies. Um, for anybody who actually doesn't um, know Robin or hasn't met Robin, go back up for a second. Um, so both times she had, she's had two litters, um, but the most recent one being this past fall. And she had them, her litters lined up with daisies actually really well. Um, and she's kind of an overproducer of milk and Daisy is a very big underproducer of milk. And so both times that they had, they both had puppies, um, 
she would go over and nurse Daisy's puppies because Daisy's puppies weren't um, on her first litter. Um, they weren't getting enough to eat their weight. Wasn't they weren't gaining weight like they should be um, as they got bigger when they were like two and a half weeks old or so. And so Robin came in and we started having, bringing Robin in. We would kind of, we would pull Daisy out and we kind of sneak Robin in without Daisy yeah. knowing. And um, we would lay Robin down and she would clean them up and uh, she would feed them. And then she, she would um, get very like protective of them and she would, it was almost like she adopted them. And so she, whenever we have puppies, really ever since then, whenever we have puppies, oh, you stop. Um, whenever we have puppies, um, with another mom, Robin is always very protective of them. Um, and she nursed Daisy's last letter too, because we had a similar issue. Um, stop. I don't know what you think you see. Oh, see your reflection. That's the mirror. That's not another dog. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> if a dog felt embarrassment, I think this is it. <laughs> um, but so she takes it, she takes, took really good care. She basically, we would put her in the pen with um, another mom's litter and she would go in there um, and basically mom them 100% and it was like she like took them under her wing and adopted them. <laughs> And so, um, and then she would make a habit of going back and checking on them all the time. And so she's a, she's a really, really good mama dog. Mom takes good care of her puppies and she takes really good care of the puppies of our pack. Our, our pack of dogs are a very cohesive group. Um, Drew and I try to, we try hard to respect their pecking order. Um, you know, like when, I, when we are walking through doors, when we feed them, that's a really good example when we feed them. Um, our first rule is that they always eat after us because um, us, the family, us and our kids, we're more dominant than they are. And so that's kind of how we maintain that. And then when we go to feed them, we feed them from most alpha, most dominant to the least. And so we feed our, our, our alpha male and our alpha female, Spike and Missy first. They get fed and then after them we go down the pecking order and so when we do those things it, i think it really helps them because then they kind of maintain order within their group and i mean with eight dogs there really is no other way to have them get along and to have them in the house as our pets we have to kind of we have to start speaking their language a lot more than we would if we only had two Robin is a really good mama dog, even when she's not the mama dog. She just thinks she's going to sit here and guard them from her own mother. <laughs> Such a stinker, Robin. I find it interesting that she's not really interacting with them, but she's just laying here and watching everything. She's not like laying down and closing her eyes. She's just laying down to get comfortable, and then she's just watching everything going on around. Oops, sorry about that. I find canine behavior really fascinating, especially when we have when we have a whole pack of dogs and they're unfixed. And so they have a lot more of their natural behavior and more of their natural, they're in more of their natural element, I guess you could say. Their drive and their instincts are more um, how they would be. And so it's just really interesting to see, watch the dynamic, especially when we have puppies and 
when the moms are kind of rotating around, you know, right now we've, we've always used the same stud dog and, but then we got a black and tan, we got macchiato and, um, he's about a year and a half old now and he has not fathered a litter yet. Um, we were going to try to, um, then we decided we wanted to him to father a, a mom who's already had a litter. Um, so we're going to wait, but, um, we realized that because Spike is our alpha male, he's not going to just that easily allow the beta male to come in and get the pack females pregnant. And so we kind of have that issue to, to contend with. And it's just kind of interesting to, um, to figure out. And, and that's why we kind of have to learn to speak their language, because if we don't, I mean, we can't, we can't fight what their, what their instincts and drive are telling them to do. So we have to, um, work with it. And I mean, dogs behave a lot better. They're a lot happier when we do. There she goes there. Now she relaxes. Um, when we do speak their language and respect their, their pecking order and, <clears throat> and we help them enforce it and we kind of let them enforce their own rules amongst themselves. Um, I mean, it's cute, especially when we have puppies, when we bring home a puppy, like when we get a new mom to raise, or we get a new puppy to raise into a mom, um, we find that letting the dogs kind of almost really like, teach them the ropes, teach them the rules of the house, teach them how to behave. They do a really good job of it. Um, they almost play different roles, like the alpha female, she'll kind of set the rules and enforce the rules. And then... Um, are less dominant females like Paris and Pom Pom. They'll be the ones that'll kind of play with the puppies and kind of let them know, hey, that's too much. You're gonna get in trouble. And so it's just, it's interesting to watch. I'm gonna do this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Touch.
I'm still going to have a curve try that that size 14. Um, I think Roman wants to play. Don't you want to play with Roman? Hey, see, he's awake. Hi, Diana. I left it a little chunkier to see if maybe they had like more to chew up. Hey, Roman. Roman, you want some water? Oh, you need a potty. Good boy. Go potty. Good boy. Good go potty. just come home so it is a Saturday everybody's here and we do live here so we'll see all our goings on while the camera is facing this way
set of their water bottle for you. You're gonna have to make sure they learn how to use it. This is what came from your mom. True. Yeah, I saw that. let her know we got it.
Problematic because Bella keeps going in and out of our room. Right. I'm going to push it outside. It's downstairs. Is it out? Where'd you go? Still not done. Close. Missy. 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 It sounds like her bark. Is she trapped? Because it sounds like her bark. Oh, Missy. Missy. Missy, where are you? Missy. Missy. Let me try my bathroom because the door is shut. Let me check.
Are you trying to squeeze out all the air, Goose?
I want to show this to you before I can play out. For the bags from last year, I'm just finding like a double bag and then opening it up and putting the double in there.
class.
Paper. Where is it all go? Yeah, I wanted to cover it. Just like cover it. With
Yeah, that's everything for now, sweetie. She, she is very, very excited. Oh, you get to open them up in a week, huh? Yes, sweetie. Um, are you here? No, we gotta wait till Christmas. You're doing a great job, Bella. be more but that's all the ones that I've wrapped for now. Oh. 
So can we open the present? No, you have to eat on Christmas. Why? Because they're Christmas presents. <coughs> You're lucky that you have a birthday in December. Save the lunchables for, for later. Thank you all. Hi there, Shalini. Hi, Vet. Happy Saturday to you, too, Vet.
I thought they already came today. Daddy! Daddy. It's all, it's hey, all let's go through the thing. Oh, well, you need to go back to your room, And our Ella, you need to make me. Christmas is coming up. It, yeah. We wanted me to put Christmas, uh, presents under the tree, yeah. so we've got to have it picked up. Mom, and remember, the, the, elf, the elf said that you need to help clean the house. Part of that is taking your stuff upstairs. Those are orders from Santa Claus. Yeah, that was orders from the elves and Santa Claus. No way, no way, no way, no way, Dad. No way, no way, no way. Where the hard way is just a sweet day. La, 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 la. Oh, they're all cozy over here. I'll make the camera so you guys can see them.
Bella, here's that last present you were talking about. Bella? Bella?
I think it's bed.
Bradley. Bradley. You have some dinosaurs. Okay. Love you.
Roman looks like he's copying mom. He's like mirroring his mom. That must be comfy. I'm gonna try. I know you guys can't see, but Blue is crate. He's on his back right here. He's cradled between the two of them, like uh, Roman's belly and then Pom Pom's belly are kind of supporting him. Is his tail. And there's the other paw. <laughs> I, can't, I was trying to describe how he was cradled. They moved a little bit, but like both of their bellies were cradling blue. <laughs> so I was trying to show them. Like, so far. <laughs> there he goes. So the puppies. So the puppies. Mm -hmm. 
Dad, you're gonna love me. Where are you? Dad? Dad? Dad in the pantry. You're gonna love me. Huh? You're gonna love me. I'm gonna love you. My Amazon detective skills. I was able to find a men's version of mine in a different brand. Very same one. Isn't that 
person has to be walking with me. Mm-hmm. The cup, cups. Yeah, and it's the thing. Oh, but are you proud of me for finding that? Yeah, that's perfect. That is like the same one. That's the, it's the very same one. Yeah, that's the same one. Let's try that again. I'm still super excited for the other one, so. I'm going to say not getting hurt. Yeah, I think it'd be extra large and be better.
Baby, is it bleeping in there? Hey, Mama. Hey,
camera's a bit fuzzy.
Annabella, that's enough shouting. Annabella.
things up that little bit so you can see them. I'm going to put our mirror in here so that you can kind of see the other side. In our bigger puppy pen that we have, it's kind of, it's on the other side of the stairs back there, over by the front door. But we have a mirror in the back that um, when the camera is aimed at it, if the puppies are like right here, then when you guys are watching, you can see the mirror. It's going on the other side. Not to ask Drew where the Mirror, that long one. Um, so I think it's like exactly that length. And that way we could leave this camera down more because it would be easy. Because I keep having to move it back and forth because when they're sleeping like that, it kind of And so if we had the mirror, it would be more to see. Um, um, I believe it could be. It could be this side or that side. Okay, it just depends on where you put the camera. Mirrors that I just looked up and I said it's not a mirror or something. So, um, That's all right. You've got these pictures of Paris, I want to show you. Let's make sure we'll send them to you. Oh. Isn't she perfect? She is. I mean, besides when she looks, when she gets mad at me for taking my treats. <laughs> Is that the kid I right now? That is the kid right here. She's like, I'm really talking about me. <laughs> Look how pretty she is. Oh. Have you seen it yourself? So, why are you sending it to yourself? Is this this phone? Oh. 
Find like on your your personal phone and mm -hmm. send it to your personal phone.
Hey, Marco.
But you gotta take this so you don't so that you get so you can kick the Annabelle Rose. Annabella, sweetheart. Annabella, big girl. Come on, baby. Like, 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 like
Um, 
Hold on, Bella. Moving the camera again since the puppies are not visible. Bella? Bella, please stop playing with that. That is not Bella. That is not a toy. That is not a toy. Bella. Did you see her? You just I just got whacked with it? No way. What they were they were just sleeping, not doing anything. I had the camera so that people could see them play. It was a good it was a good view when um when Roman was on his back and and Blue was um <gasps> there is hey.
right there stinker can you do it the Pom pom, don't feed your puppy in the back. Come on. Don't feed your puppy. No, pom pom. No, that's not. No. Come on. We don't eat in the bathroom. Breastfeeding mothers don't feed in the bathroom, so. No, we're not. No. All right, you know what? I gotta go do something. You are still over here. No, I haven't. I haven't had a chance to walk out the door yet, Bella. Bradley, do not do that. Because I'm not in the mood for it. If you do that, you're going to get into big trouble. No, do not clean that from up there. Bradley, don't do it. Bella just whacked me with a tripod. Or, you know, when I'm doing, not getting started with this. When do I do that? At 4 p.m. When can I ever even do it? Outside, in the basement, where it's safe in the living room. But not from the top of the stairs, aiming down for me in the wings. I'm not arguing with you about it. The rule is the rule. You can choose to listen or you can choose to not listen and take the consequences. Thank you. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I got. I think they're supposed to grow. You know what? That's just like the water. No, Spike.
Cinema? Yeah. You want to go to the cinema? Yeah. Can we go to the cinema tomorrow?
Who did this? Thank <laughs> you. 
a lot more, um, he's more willing to do what you want. Oh, hold on, hold on. Okay. Ah, Bella. Oh, no. Maybe it came off? Yeah. I don't think he really likes you. Really? No, oh, why? <laughs> Hi, is this a pom pom? Yeah, that's pom pom. She is fighting my sleep. <laughs> <laughs> she is um, Paris's little mate. She's Yeah. Does she look like Paris? Yeah. No, she doesn't look like Paris at all. Oh, they have something that I can't What? Is she something that I can't Uh, not really, but they, they're, they're close to the same. No, like, is she like, are her eyes like almost doing a good job. Oh, um, yeah, Paris is already kind of like that. Um, I think it's just because it's not like that. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I stopped it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Good boy, Blue. Oh, good boy, going blue. What a good boy. What a good boy, dropping it to zero. What's it? Good boy. Yes, you are. Come on, you can pinch that one out. Like the boy blue. I know you're just a pom pom, bleeding it out. You can tell that the puppies are not used to having to push these poops out at, like in, from the internal. Like Pom Pom yeah. is usually pulling them out with her forceps of teeth. No, they're just, this Blue is trying to push out a turd and he's struggling to pinch it off. Mom to come lick your butt. It's not finished until mom squeezes your butt, huh? You want to go play? They follow pom pom around like two little ducklings.
Okay, so <clears throat> she 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 really loves her babies. She really does. I agree. I agree. Must be the extra weight, like hold it, like hammer all that fur on her feet. It's getting caught. She's so much heavier now.
to see the babies too.
No, don't eat all pom poms food. Thank you. Missy, leave her food. No. So this is Missy, for anybody who does not know, this is, this is Missy Dog, she's our groovy. Um, she's the one who is in heat that is driving our boys crazy right now. <laughs> um, she's in heat and we don't want her to make this cycle, so the boys have been separated from her for the last week or so, and um, it's driving them crazy. But she's on her break from puppies, so Good to give them time off. Help them recover, recuperate. And she's been sleeping in the bed with because usually she sleeps with Spike <coughs> at night because they're both alpha dogs. Um, she and Spike are like the leaders of the pack. Um, and so, with her being in heat, we had her sleep in bed with us at night, which which she loved, of course. But then that means we hear Spike scratching at her door at night. She's our most experienced mom, having had three litters. So she um, is pretty good at the puppies. She knows uh, how to play with them at different ages. <laughs> I hope we have that much room, Missy. <laughs> Be a little gentle. <laughs> she cleans other mom's babies. 
she's gonna be when um so she's had three litters and she won't have any more than like five or so um that we talked about you know now that we're like more than halfway through once we retire her she's gonna be a little bit of a grandma oh grandma and see she is over here like pouncing and running and she's getting really intense with them yeah And so that's kind of how, actually, that's a good example of how um, Missy and our other dogs will kind of teach the puppies, like, the rules of interacting with each other and, like, with social etiquette sort of thing, um, like puppy manners. Um, you know, right now, she, Missy's licking herself, she's cleaning herself up and having crawling all over another dog when they're cleaning themselves. It's probably kind of rude by you know, standards. And so she was growling at him to let him go. Well, that's, hey, that's pretty rude. You don't do that. I don't come in and crawl on you when you're trying to clean yourself up. Um, and I mean, she'll growl at them, but she also knows, she, was, she understands and she can appreciate that they're just puppies and they're learning. <laughs> Like she doesn't even look at them. She just, she knows where they are. Are you done playing? Are you done in here, Missy? Are you just gonna clean up? They're here to, I'm gonna pick you up. So they can play. I'm gonna let them run around and play. Are you done? All right, I'm gonna let the puppies play. They're gonna talk me. Be gentle, Roman. Boy, Blue. Good boy.
today, you can also show her. I guess
Yeah, you can you can hold whatever you want, whichever one you're not holding. I don't really care which one you hold. <laughs> just yeah, just like that. <laughs> Hard to see because the uh, yeah. 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 Turn it off. Turn it back on because if you close it, then it'll um it cuts it off at like twelve hours. See what thing close that. Thank you. 
Which one? He's just like. Spike. 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 